the next pose I am doing is Ek um, Pad Viprit Dandasan this is also a very good um, warm up pose once you can um, put your elbow on the floor and hold your ankle in any pose if some parts of the body are in the air it requires a lot more effort to lift that part uh, keep that part in the air and if your legs are in the air your lower back is going to lift the weight so if you can hold your ankles here it makes the pose much easier I still need to work on straightening my leg uh, at the knee uh, and it's an intense stretch as you can imagine um, trying to keep looking up uh, In general the back pains might happen with a bit more ease in the afternoon or evening however um, appropriate warm-up poses even in the morning you should be able to get um, good bends the benefit of practicing in the morning is that your mind is fresh and your body is well rested there is in the evening your body is warmed up but you have had all day behind you and uh, your mind may be a bit more entangled as compared to that in the morning so the part that I'm working on is being able to keep my feet on the floor and then hold them with both my hands So this is Ek Pad Raj Kapotasan. I'll do some warm up, and this is uh, also pretty intense uh, and difficult category of uh, pose for me at this time. It, it gives an excellent bend obviously I think it's uh, rated very high in terms of intensity in Iyengar's book also those of you who um, have seen or follow Iyengar's light yoga these poses I uh, learned earlier uh, if you are holding on to something it's much much better than um, dropping your leg on the ground first and then uh, groping with your hands to find the ankles at the foot So this is also I think uh, similar to Ekpad Raj Kapotasan with um, just a little bit of um, variation uh, where uh, knee is not on the floor like in the previous pose. Uh, 
I think it's a little bit uh, easier and uh, somewhere I had read the name as Ardha Chandrasan for this pose maybe Crescent.